all right everyone this is how uh, it came out this is uh, this just finished i bake this for 15 minutes then my gravy everyone lexi helped me with that so all the exact measurement will be included in the description down below welcome to our channel if you're new to our channel welcome my name is Anna and thank you so much for being here and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and also hit that bell that way you will get notification whenever I upload a new videos and if you're returning subscribers thank you so much for joining here with me again uh, today everyone for dinner I'm gonna make homemade KFC ball so I saw this on Facebook that, uh, last night actually and my oldest daughter tagged me so told her that I'm gonna make it for them so this is what they're gonna eat for dinner today so what we're gonna need well what I'm gonna be using in here everyone I'm using a instant mashed potato this is four cups of instant mashed potato and I cook this according to the direction in the box and I'm gonna use cheese chicken that I just this is chicken fingers that I just cut into little pieces I'm gonna be using corn so this four right here everyone I'm gonna mix them together so to finish our mashed potato or our bowl I'm gonna make a homemade gravy so in here I have two and three fourth cup of chicken broth five tablespoon of butter one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce one half cup of milk and flour and we also need black pepper and salt to season the gravy and if you want it to be uh, a little bit more thick you can add a cornstarch on this one so let's get started everyone and my oven is preheated at 350 all right, everyone, in this Pyrex right here, this is my, I think, 9 by 13. Yeah, this is not the smallest. So what I did, everyone, is I just put some butter. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my mashed potato. You can use the fresh mashed potato, you know, the one that you make at home. But I'm just, this is a quick dinner, everyone. Oops can't do that so we're just gonna spread this out here this is a meal that's ready within 15 minutes guys under 20 minutes so if you're in a hurry this is a perfect meal to prepare for your kids or you can make this ahead of time and just um, heat it up Excuse my noise guys because our dog is uh, right here watching me cook. Alright, so now we're going to put our corn. So we're just going to spread it out pretty good right here. Hold on guys, let me move this a little. And this corn right here everyone is a can uh, from a can. So what I did is I just rinse it. You know, that way I don't... Uh, the flavor from the you know the juice from the corn won't distract the flavor between the chicken mashed potato and everything else all right so there it goes and now let's not waste this little potato just put it in that corner so now everyone i'm gonna put my chicken 
this is going to be really good, everybody. So if you have popcorn chicken, you are welcome to use the popcorn chicken. But since I don't have a popcorn chicken, you know, I just chop some chicken fingers and there it goes. I got me the ingredients that I need. All right. Let's not waste that. All right. Now, I'm going to put my cheese. This is a cheddar cheese. You can use any cheese you want to. But this is going to be very, very delicious. Next week, everyone, I'm going to start cooking healthy. <laughs> there you go. All right. All right, now I'm going to bake this for about 15 minutes and I will be back. All right, everyone, in this pot, I'm going to make my gravy. So I'm going to put my butter. So let's adjust our heat to medium. Yay, yay. All right. So let's just melt this butter right here. That way, it's perfect. Charot. Shout out to everybody in there, guys. If you're watching, let me know, guys, if you uh, do this recipe. I'll be happy to hear how it turns out. All right. Now let's mix our flour, but let's add a little at a time. Hold on. I'm gonna ch change that way. It's not lumpy. I can't, I can't find my mixer. Alright everyone, find my mixer. So now I'm going to add my flour. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my Worcestershire sauce. Then I'm going to add my milk there. Just keep, keep mixing everyone. That way we can get those lump. There you go. This is going to be good guys. So let's add all the flour. Now let's add our chicken broth. Yeah, I know it's a lot but... We're going to make this a good gravy, everyone. We'll just keep mixing, everybody, until all this flour is mixed with the liquid. And uh, we're going to season this with salt and pepper. All right. And if you want your sauce to be thick, everyone, you can add a cornstarch, which I'm probably going to end up doing. I wasn't really sure if I need cornstarch, but I'm going to bring this to boil and see if I need cornstarch. And as you can see, everyone, this is like a, not a brown gravy. It's white, really, it's, it's that color, but you know, that's, that's okay. If you want it brown, you can put some color, I reckon. Okay, now we're going to season this with some salt. I'm going to start with half a teaspoon. And if I need more, I'll put more. And then we're going to add some black pepper. There you go. Then now we're going to mix this. This is a white gravy, everyone. Yep. And so now we're going to wait till this start boiling and I'm going to see if I need more cornstarch. Alright, I'll be back. 
all right everyone my gravy is a little bit thick i don't need any i don't think i need any uh, cornstarch but i'm gonna check to see if i need any more salt i don't want it to be really thick everyone because then it won't be runny i also make a chocolate gravy everyone from scratch it was actually passed to me by uh, one of our customer i think it was i took a video of it if not i might i might make some because it's good the chocolate gravy is good so this gravy is done everyone this uh boiled a little and i don't want it to keep boiling that way it's not gonna harden or you know get thicker I'm just gonna keep mixing this and if you need to add more salt everyone this is a perfect time to add more salt see I think I need to add a little bit I'm gonna add a touch of the chicken broth maybe a fourth cup everyone the way it's gonna uh, there it goes yeah so we're gonna be using i just add a fourth cup of this now i'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt no half a teaspoon of salt not a teaspoon of salt then we're gonna add more butter i mean black pepper hello so i add chicken broth and salt and black pepper now mix 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 all right i'm gonna let that simmer for just a little bit and then i will turn up the heat all right everyone in this gravy everyone i add extra one third cup of milk just to tone down the chicken taste and lexi is my taster and it tastes just perfect so now my chicken is done so i'm gonna turn this off and start serving food all right everyone this is how uh, it came out this is uh, this just finished i bake this for 15 minutes then my gravy everyone, Lexi helped me with that. So all the exact measurement will be included in the description down below. Thank you everyone and I will see you all again on my next video. Bye bye everyone.